Hello students, hello students, and welcome to our ACT Week 22 lesson breakdown. This lecture class will cover February 25th till February 29th. So let's delve deeper and see which concepts we will be covering during that week. On Sunday, we will have an introduction to equilibrium. We will cover the following core concepts. An introduction into dynamic equilibrium. We will be able to explore the concepts of equilibrium constant and determine the factors that may impact a reaction that is already under equilibrium. On Monday, we will go over the reaction quotient and the equilibrium constant. During that lesson, we will be able to determine how the reaction quotient is determined and describe the reaction quotient as a value and how it would impact which reversible reaction would be favored. On Tuesday, we will be going over the magnitude and properties of a reaction quotient. During that lesson, we will be able to determine what a reaction quotient is, when is it higher, and how is it related to the equilibrium constant. So if the reaction quotient is higher than the value of k, what would that mean? If the reaction quotient is equal to k, and if the reaction quotient is less than the value of the equilibrium constant k. On Wednesday, we will be able to calculate the equilibrium constant, and we will use stoichiometry to calculate the equilibrium constant. We may be given masses of reactants and products where we have to turn them into moles and from there turn them into concentrations or we may be given moles and we need to turn them directly into the concentration and through that we will be able to find the equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant is always the concentration of the products raised to the power of the coefficients of a balanced chemical equation over the concentration of the reactants multiplied by each other raised to the power of a coefficient from a balanced chemical equation. Finally, on Thursday, we will be going over Le Chatelier's principle. During that lesson, we will be able to determine how changes in temperature, pressure, concentration, and catalyst may influence the reversibility of a reaction. During that lesson, we will be able to learn which factor may influence the rate of forward or the rate of backward reaction and how we can shift equilibrium to favor one side and produce more of a given reactant or a product. Finally, please keep in mind that success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. Thank you for listening to this lecture cast and have a lovely day.